All right, moving on to spec 1-1, Queens County, Party Libertarian. Objections by N. Cirillo to petition of Ruben D. Cruz, member of City Council, 32nd District. Uh, number of signatures submitted, 683. Total valid, five. Uh, you need 450. Uh, which one are we doing? I'm, I'm sorry, I'm just Queens. not clear. Queens. 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 Support for Queens, Libertarian, spec number 1-1, Queens 2101221, Queens 2101222. We have appearances by John Champoli and Reverend Ruben Cruz. In the matter of objections by Phyllis and Cirillo to the petition of Ruben D. Cruz, second, for a member of New York City Council, 32nd District. Ms. Sandow, your mic is off. Oh. I can repeat it if you'd like, Ms. Sandow. Please do. Thank you. <clears throat> Again, we're talking yeah. about Queens, Libertarian Party, objections by N. Cirillo. Petition of Ruben D. Uh, Ruben D. Cruz for member of the City Council, 32nd District. S number of signatures submitted, 683. The valid was only five. The signatures required is 450. Move the clerk's report. Uh, may I ask for second? How many appearances? Yes, we have an appearance from Reverend Cruz. I thought they said you right, We ought to hear from Reverend Cruz if he's here, I think. No, absolutely. I didn't mean, realize he was here. Thank you. Go ahead, Mr. Cruz. You have something to add? Thank you so much. Uh, with regard to the specifications uh, of objections, uh, like uh, Mr. Morgan before, these uh, specifications were not in. in sequential order according to H1 and H5 of the independent nominating rules. Um, and as far as I could tell, not securely fastened. And uh, just the, the sheer volume of signatures that uh, were dismissed uh, seemed uh, capricious and excessive to me. Uh, what and I would, I would move for the specifications to ensure um, the allegations being made with respect to the numbering? Is that in the borough office, or do you, uh, does legal have that in front of them? We have it in the borough office, Commissioner. All right, can you uh, take a look at it and let us know what it looks like? Thank you. It appears to be sequentially numbered. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. So, Mr. Cruz, it appears that the specifications as filed with the board upon review of the staff is in its proper format. Uh, you have two volumes there. Uh, so you have repeating numbers, and uh, according to what I saw in H1 and H5, uh, they're supposed to be numbered completely to the end of uh, the volume that I received uh, together. Is that correct? You don't know what he received. The, the rule says that the specification should be bound in one of four volumes. These are bound in single volume. The first volume, 1221, are numbered sequentially and are immediately followed by the second volume, 1222, also numbered sequentially. So, so you have two separate bound volumes because I didn't receive a bound volume. We, we have a bound volume, which contains within it first volume 1221 and immediately following volume 1222. And the pages of those two volumes are numbered sequentially. Uh, thank you. Uh, in, in addition to that, uh, I'd just like to bring up the, the fact that you had nearly all of these signatures uh, invalidated and that just uh, Seems, like I said, capricious and um, uh, unreasonable 
Mr. Cruz, uh, fact checking. Can I, can I take a so I, I would just like to, if I may, just request a roll call uh, Sir, for permission but, on this. Before we do that, um, do you that. have an exception report where the board has made its errors? I'm not sure I follow you, and I apologize for that. All right. Mr. Uh, you, you got served with a copy of the clerk's report. You're given an opportunity to appear today with a list of where you believe the board made its errors in the calculation of this clerk's report. Do you have that? Have you submitted that uh, to the board pursuant to our rules? Uh, I do not have that, and I just submit to the board to consider that um, that this is um, just has a an error in, in function as as being uh, factually uh, inaccurate. It, it's just so impossible to consider that I, I believe it was frivolous. Right, but that, that's the point. I mean, you, you got a copy of the clerk's report. You had an opportunity to provide us with a detailed list of where you think we made errors, so thereby giving you an opportunity to rehabilitate some of these signatures. So you don't have that, so our hands are tied and there's a motion now to accept the clerk's report with a second. So I would call a roll call. Okay. Uh, a move. All in favor of the clerk's report? Uh, aye. 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 All opposed? All abstentions? I'm sorry, Mr. Cruz, you're off the ballot. Thank you. Thanks. Good luck to your mom. Thank you so much. Yes, by all means. And just to acknowledge, I think, Mr. Champoli, you were on this matter? I'm on this matter. Okay. Thanks. Mr. Champoli, do you have any issues? <laughs> I was going to ask you to move the clerk's report, but you did it before I asked for it. Okay, thank you, sir. Champion, but it's still spec on the one. Yeah. Apology, uh, Mr. Champoli. Next one. Okay, why is there? Next clerk's report, please. I'm way getting through these additional pages that are in there. 